G'day everyone, welcome back to Matabung Aussie. Well today we're doing a traditional English dish, the old Scotch egg. I believe uh, it was the, this was made in Fortnum and Mason supermarket chain back in the old days, back in the 1780s. They used to make them for, sell them for travellers who were going on their way. It's a great recipe, it's pretty easy to follow. And here's our step-by-step -step process of making a Scotch egg. Thank you. G'day everyone, welcome back. Well, here's a cut it in half here. I've got the egg yolk still a bit runny. So I cook, cook boil the eggs for uh, four minutes. If you, uh, if you want a soft egg, you want a hard, harder egg in the center, just cook it for seven minutes and then do it. But um, like I say, you know, I've done this uh, with the, the eggs, probably a smaller egg would be better. Or you even do little tiny uh, scotch eggs, maybe using quail eggs. But um, I just put in there with the pork mince, I've got some thyme, salt and pepper. But if you want, you know, if you want to do it for like a breakfast dish, you could probably uh, put in some chopped uh, bacon or black pudding would be a great option. Um, yeah, but they're just, you can just experiment or you can just keep them the simple, traditional way. So let's have a bit of a taste test. You can hear the, the breadcrumbs. The panko breadcrumbs, by the way. Mm. Mm, nice and crunchy. It's moist. You can just taste the thyme in there. Yeah, and these are great. You can either eat them hot or cold. Great for taking away for picnics. And uh, yeah, just give it a try. If you uh, hit the like and subscribe button and uh, please leave a comment and thank you for watching this video but give it a try it's a pretty simple easy dish and uh, i'm sure everyone will love them thank you